Is manipulation a kind of corruption? Introduction Manipulation and corruption, though distinct in definition, often intersect in practice, especially within the realm of politics. Manipulation involves influencing someone in a way that may be deceitful or insidious to achieve a desired outcome. Corruption, on the other hand, traditionally refers to dishonest conduct by those in power, often involving bribery or fraud. However, corruption can also be understood in a broader moral and ethical sense, where individuals or institutions deviate from integrity, fairness, and honesty. In politics, manipulation has become a tool frequently used by leaders, campaigns, and influencers to shape public opinion, steer decisions, and consolidate power. This raises an important question. Is manipulation merely a tactic, or does it cross into the territory of corruption? Recent global events highlight the pervasive use of manipulation. From controversial campaigns in Nigeria, Russia, Ukraine, and Israel, Gaza, to divisive U.S. elections. This article explores how manipulation impacts democratic processes and public trust and questions whether it is, at its core, a form of corruption that undermines the integrity of governance. Types of manipulation in politics. Manipulation in politics manifests in various forms, each influencing public perception and decision-making. Here are some common types. 1. Information manipulation. This involves presenting biased information, disinformation, or selective truths to sway public opinion. Political leaders and media outlets often highlight certain facts while omitting others to construct a narrative that benefits them. For instance, during elections, information may be tailored to target specific groups, emphasizing issues that resonate with them while downplaying others. 2. Emotional manipulation. Political campaigns frequently appeal to emotions, such as fear, anger, or nationalism, to mobilize support or opposition. By triggering strong emotional responses, leaders can override rational analysis and push citizens toward a particular stance. For example, leaders may use fear-mongering language to warn against perceived threats, manipulating people to accept otherwise questionable policies. 3. Social influence and cult-like following. Charismatic leaders often cultivate a devoted following that can lead to a near cult-like allegiance, where followers overlook faults or ethical issues in favor of loyalty. This approach capitalizes on social identity and peer pressure, persuading individuals to support the leader regardless of their actions. Examples from recent global events illustrate these tactics. Nigeria. Political figures often engage in narratives that frame opponents as corrupt or unpatriotic, steering public discourse and diverting attention from policy issues. Russia-Ukraine conflict and Israel-Gaza tensions. Both have manifested in physical conflicts and involve significant propaganda efforts aimed at winning international support and justifying actions, manipulating narratives to shape public perception worldwide. U.S. Elections in recent years, the use of sensational and divisive rhetoric plus suspected manipulation antics has become common, with candidates using tactics designed to polarize voters and solidify their base through emotional appeal. Exploring manipulation as a form of corruption. Corruption traditionally implies a deviation from honesty, integrity, and fairness, often involving actions that prioritize personal or political gain over the public good and in collaboration with the public in some cases. You get what you deserve has been the maxim of some. Manipulation in politics can fit into this framework as a moral and ethical form of corruption, one that corrupts the democratic process by undermining transparency, informed choice, and trust. When political leaders use manipulation to achieve their ends, it often raises the ethical question, does the end justify the means? Some argue that a leader's ultimate intentions, such as national security or economic growth, may justify the use of manipulation to attain power or public support. However, others view manipulation as a betrayal of the democratic values of honesty, fairness, and the informed consent of the governed. History has proven that this method tends to involve regret and abuse of power in the end. In a democratic society, manipulation disrupts the integrity of elections and governance. By spreading disinformation or playing on fears, politicians effectively rob citizens of the chance to make informed decisions. This is especially concerning in multi-system democracies, where public perception can be easily swayed by media influence, strategic rhetoric, and targeted messaging. Moreover, manipulation as a tactic often leads to a breakdown in public trust. When citizens realize they have been misled, the social contract weakens, resulting in greater cynicism, 
disengagement, and polarization. This, in turn, impacts governance, as leaders who rely on manipulation may find it challenging to unite people or foster long-term loyalty. Ultimately, manipulation undermines the democratic ideal of governance by the people, for the people. In using deception to gain influence, political actors effectively corrupt the electorate's ability to make free and informed choices, an essential component of true democracy. Therefore, while manipulation may not be corruption in the legal sense, it can be considered corruption of democratic principles and ethical governance. Case Studies of Manipulation in Politics Examining specific cases can provide insight into how manipulation operates as a form of corruption in different political contexts. 1. Nigeria Corruption has long been a central theme in Nigerian politics. Political narratives around corruption are often weaponized, with leaders framing their opponents as corrupt to gain public support. However, these narratives frequently serve as a smokescreen, distracting from real policy discussions and shifting public focus. This approach manipulates public sentiment and shapes perception, perpetuating a cycle where voters distrust both the opposition and the ruling party. It does not deny that corruption exists, it merely drives attention to it and causes distraction from other vital and more important issues. 2. Russia-Ukraine conflict and Israel-Gaza tensions Both these situations involve war, weaponry, and large-scale media campaigns designed to shape public opinion and attain victory. Russian and Ukrainian authorities have deployed propaganda and misinformation to gain domestic and international support. Similarly, in the Israel-Gaza conflict, both sides use media to push narratives that justify their actions, often ignoring the human cost of the conflict. By manipulating narratives, these parties impact global perceptions and influence international responses, using propaganda to validate actions that may otherwise face criticism. 3. U.S. Elections U.S. political campaigns have become increasingly divisive and unorthodox, with candidates often resorting to polarizing rhetoric and emotional appeals. Former President Donald Trump's campaigns were notable for their use of unorthodox messaging strategies, appealing directly to discontent and fear among certain demographics. This manipulation led to a more polarized electorate, vote come what may, attitude, with loyalty sometimes bordering on cult-like following. Such campaigns prioritize winning support over fostering informed, rational decision-making, making manipulation a core strategy. In each case, manipulation skews public perception either by amplifying mistrust, generating conflict, or driving emotional responses. These tactics divert from objective policy analysis and critical thinking, reducing the democratic process to a competition of influence rather than informed consent. By corrupting the public's ability to make well-informed decisions, manipulation undermines the foundation of ethical governance. The ethical debate. Is manipulation ever justified? The ethical debate around manipulation in politics centers on whether it can ever be justified for a greater good. From a utilitarian perspective, actions are morally acceptable if they result in the best possible outcome for the most people. By this logic, some argue that leaders may employ manipulation to ensure stability, security, or progress. However, this approach has inherent risks, as the line between justified persuasion and outright deceit is often thin and easily crossed. On the other hand, Kantian ethics suggests that actions are only ethical if they respect the autonomy and dignity of all individuals, which manipulation clearly violates. In a democracy, manipulation undermines the public's right to make free, informed choices. Thus, from a deontological perspective, manipulation in politics is inherently unethical, as it prioritizes outcomes over honesty and respect for the individual. If manipulation becomes normalized, it erodes the moral fabric of governance. Even if the initial intentions are good, the long-term consequences, loss of trust, public disillusionment, and cynicism, can outweigh any perceived benefits. Therefore, while manipulation might achieve short-term goals, it often compromises the principles of democratic integrity and accountability. Democracy and the Fallibility of Human Decision-Making Democracy, as the government of the people by the people, is based on the premise that citizens have the right to self-governance and to choose their leaders. However, this system is not immune to the flaws of human decision-making. The majority can be swayed by charisma, emotional appeals, or misinformation, highlighting democracy's vulnerability to manipulation. The paradox of democracy is that it trusts in the rationality of the public, yet human decision-making is inherently fallible. 
People are susceptible to biases, heuristics, and the influence of authority figures. When manipulation enters the equation, it further distorts this process, making it easier for leaders to steer public opinion toward outcomes that may not align with the true will of the people. Thus, while democracy remains a noble ideal, it is far from perfect. The process of democratic decision-making can lead to regret when the majority is manipulated into making choices they later find detrimental. Yet despite its imperfections, democracy relies on the principle of individual agency, suggesting that the answer to manipulation lies in promoting transparency, education, and critical thinking, rather than abandoning the democratic ideal altogether. Conclusion In conclusion, while manipulation may not fit the legal definition of corruption, it can certainly be viewed as a form of moral and ethical corruption that erodes the foundations of democratic governance. Through tactics like information control, emotional appeal, and social influence, political leaders can shape public perception, often at the expense of transparency, honesty, and informed consent. The question of whether manipulation can ever be justified remains contentious. Though some argue that it can serve a greater good, the risks of eroding trust and compromising democratic values make it a dangerous tool in governance. Ultimately, manipulation undermines the democratic process by corrupting the public's ability to make informed choices. As society grapples with the implications of manipulation in politics, the call for ethical leadership, transparency, and accountability grows louder. Democracy, though imperfect, offers a system where individuals have the right to participate and make their voices heard. Preserving this ideal requires vigilance against manipulation, and a commitment to fostering informed, rational decision-making in the public sphere.